Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Rayman Origins. I am Zerosgoth, your host, and we're going to take on the time trial of high voltage. But, before that, let's change skins again. Skipping all of those, skipping all the standard skins. Uh, anything... Nah, we'll go back to the... To some other skins. We haven't played as uh, the Rayman Tinsy yet, I believe. So let's try that. There we go. By the way, something I've not yet mentioned. Um, the guy up here, the Bubble Dreamer. If you grab his beard, he'll tell you something about the character you're currently playing as. And I believe his knowledge expands the more electoons you get, or maybe he just immediately knows anything everything about that character. I don't know, it's something like that. Anyway, let's do this. So maybe I'll show that in a bonus episode. Show um show you show you all of these sort of character bios, I guess you could sort of call them that. Since that's what they are pretty much like. So you just grab the uh, the Bubble Dreamer's beard as a character and he'll give you information about that character. And I don't want to die here. So there we go. Jumping, bouncing and all around. Go up here. And here. Keep going. Bouncy up and go. And we'll do some jumping along here. Thank you for that. Boom. There we go. Perfect. Aha. Perfect. So, I think we're almost there. Let's just keep going. Ouch. Right, careful now. Heart, thank you. Run along this. And, ouch, we're there. That was good. So, that's one more Electune for our 100% Electune completion. Perfect. Hello. Boom. And snake eyes. Time trial time. And after that we'll grab the final skull tooth. Uh, well not final skull tooth, but the skull tooth of this world. Well, this shouldn't be too hard, right? Oh wait, I died a lot in this world, didn't I? This level. Oh well. That was fail. I was going a bit too quick. Yeah, but like the previous uh, stage with the snake thing, it's really not too difficult to get the right time here. I mean, pretty much forced into it. I love that sound. No! What? 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 Why are you so slippery? Why are you so slippery, good sir? Alright. Well, better not slip this time. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> wee! Wee! Oh crap! No, what am I doing? Please, yes. Good. Good, 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 good. Come on, Tinsy Ray. Yes, that is his official his official name. Tinsy Ray. He's number uh, he's the number one guy in the uh, Rayman fan base, I guess. So that's kinda cool. Kinda like that they did that. I'll have 
a character like Tinsy Ray and also the Tinsy like Glow Box, or maybe that's Glow Box, but a Tinsy. I don't know for sure. The character description is somewhat vague on that, whether it's a Glow Box who's been turned into a Tinsy or a Tinsy who is a big fan of Glow Box. They're not too clear on that. Aha! So up here. Don't need that. Anyway. There we go. And up we go. So, grab that. Keep running, keep running. Okay. Oh, that was extra stuff in him. That's kind of cool. Ooh, one of those things. I'll take you. Yay, now I have projectiles. That I'm probably not going to use. Well, there. Ah. That makes that a bit easier. Only having to shoot once for those two. Boom. I believe I have only three more of those fists left, so better be careful. <laughs> oh, keep running, keep running, yes. I don't know uh, whether you should see those flute snake things as enemies or just obstacles or maybe even helpful items they're just there I guess and they're pretty cool and I kinda like that they did that yeah. only one more of those fists remaining oh come on yes see not too hard, You'll, you won't, of course, have a spectacular time, but... I mean, you're sort of... Well, you have to take into account the fact that it's a bit like an auto-scrolling level, and I'll take that away. I don't need that anymore. So... One more on that, and we'll grab one more skull tooth. Tuned up treasure. That sounds like fun. Haha. -ha. Well, he might look like Rayman, but it's not Rayman, Mr. Treasure Chest. Oh well. So this will be fun. Like always. I mean, these stages are usually quite fun. No! Dang it. Except when that happens. Come on. Come on, dude. Run! Jump, jump! Woo! Alright, remember! Useful Fletch jumps everywhere. Haha! <laughs> oh, come on. No, no! Come on, don't! Fail me now. Yes. Oh. No. No. Come on. Don't touch any of that. Good. Now keep running. Jump. Jump. Run, 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 run. Jump. Keep running and jumping. Jump. Jump. Alright. Run, 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 run. Good. Get back here! Come on! Oh, close one. Oh, now I'm shrink, shrunk, shrank. Oh crap, oh crap, oh man, oh man. Come on! Yes! Haha! <laughs> and I teleport. That's cool. Oh, nice detail. I just now noticed the fact that Tinsy's feet also look like Rayman's shoes. That's kind of awesome. 
Yeah, usually his feet are so small I, I didn't notice, but now I suddenly saw it and it was pretty cool. So, that's one more skull tooth. Which means we can go on to the next world. Floating over there. Which is the Luscious Lakes. Sounds fun. Dragon Soup. Good, but first. Oh yeah, that guy. Have your tooth back. Now, Glowbox time! But not red Glowbox, we'll play the true blue Glowbox. And I'm still quite a few uh, electoons off of getting bad Rayman. But as soon as I have him, I probably will play as him quite a bit. Stupid loading lag spikes. I only have that when I'm recording, otherwise it's just all, always smooth and... Oh yeah! This is starting quite good, actually! Ah! Come on. There we go. Yes, please. Ah, the music! So good! So, let us collect some... delicious lumsies in this huge kitchen. I heard to help me. Oh, I see it. Come on. Yes. And in here. Okay, that's cool. Let's have fun like this. Yeah, a lot of it is mosquito stuff. Wow. They sure love uh, their bullet hell. Though, this is not as bad as some games. Some games have stuff. I mean, even at half speed, it's hard. Well, this is too hard, though. And finally, that guy. And we're done. Perfect. We've saved some more electrodes. Safety for everyone. Aha! Take that. Hello, Mr. Sausage. I missed. Ooh! Fist item. Better be careful. kind of weird. I mean, you would say those things would be too hard to stand on, seeing as how they jump out of a molten pool of soup. Ouch! Crap! Yes! <laughs> cool! That was kind of fun. Boom! Wait a minute. Just look at how he does that. That's so weird. Ooh, sweet. I want that. Come on. Can I make it? Yes, I can. Ah. Uh, I believe I saw another medallion back there, so... Luckily, if you float, you have more than enough time to catch those... I guess they're beans. So they look like beans. I think they're beans. Can I hear a help me? Yep, that's quite clearly a help me. Something up here, maybe? Nope. I guess it's in the next area. Yes, it is. Good. Ah, frying pans. Is 
Too bad they have nothing in this game uh, reminiscent of uh, the art world. What was it called in Rayman 1? Um, I don't remember. Then again, the worlds in Rayman 1 were a lot wackier than this. At least in their design. Maybe not in the overall design of the game, but definitely in the design of each world separately. Things were a lot more crazy. But they weren't in overall design, and that's kind of funny, actually. Oh, sweet! Aha! More lump stuffs. Ah, the music. Especially that guy's voice. No, no, what? No. What was I doing? Whatever it was, it wasn't good. Get back here, you. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, if you're shrunk down to miniature size, you can actually stand on top of mobilized enemies. Use them as well, sort of like floating platform, so that's cool. Alrighty. Oh, no, careful, careful. Good, good. What's this? Something, something up here? Yes. Ah. Didn't know that was there. No, honestly, I did not know that. First time I found that, so that's cool. Whoa, what am I doing? Good. No, what? Yes. Okay, grab that, jump up there, perfect. Crap, they're spoons. Not wooden spoons. My only weakness. My mortal enemy. Wooden spoons. Oh, close one. And that's a knife that's in there for some reason. That's cool. Let's climb up here, go through there. Oh, what am I doing? There we go. Let's destroy this. We're bound to get some cool stuff out of that. Oh, maybe not as much cool stuff as I'd like, but hey, we have more than enough lumps, so let's just continue, shall we? No, oh, come on. Spin. Spin. Rotate. Yes. Rotate again. There we go. That's right. Whoa. That was dangerous. Boom. Nope. Ha ha! Saved by the maneuver. The awesome move. Well, never mind wooden spoons being my mortal enemy. They're my bestest friends now. Anything in here? Yes, there was. No! Whoa! What am I? No! 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 Good. Well, I, it's good I had a heart there. Oh, looking dangerous. There we go. Whoa! No, what am I doing? Crap. Come on! Ouch. Didn't save myself this time. That was stupid. Alrighty then. Let's grab another heart right there. Ah. Alrighty. I can grab that. Wow. That guy sure is weak. If a miniaturized character can land on him and he will die. And safety for everyone. And growth. 
Lobux is suddenly big again. So that went well. Let's get our reward. Have some lumps, good sir. Give me some electrons. I do think this is a nice way for them to combine both the iconic electrons from the first game and the iconic lumps from the second game. I mean, there was no such thing in the third game. Well, of course, of course, you had the uh, of the gems you could collect, but you, there was not really a reason to in terms of the story. As opposed to this game, for instance. Alright, our next stage is a mosquito stage. You're on fire. Well, let's do that and... I guess we'll call an episode after that, so... Let's do it! Okay, this can only be dangerous. So that's cool. Take that, you! Aha! Using the stage stuffs to your advantage. Yes! Come here. No! Crap, missed the King Lump. Please let me through. Please, yes, yes. Oh crap, oh crap. There, kill that, no. Missed some stuff. Take that, you. Don't you aim at me. Be like your good friend. Aim randomly. Boom! It's quite horrible actually how they get, you know, skewered. Oh well. Rayman's had his good history of getting skewered too, so I guess it's only fair. Oh, crap. Yay, noise in the background. Why do I keep focusing on that? I mean, but I don't want you to focus on it, so why would I focus on it? I mean, if I, if, you know, if I say it, it's only more obvious. Aha! Can that please stop? Thank you. Right, that should have been a bit of a checkpoint, I guess. Okay, we're above ground again and everything's cold again. Good. Take that. Aha! Anything in here? Lots of stuff in here, actually. Oh crap, I should have done it like that! Aha! Anything in here? Yes, there is! There. Collect you. Destroy you. Kill all of you. I'm not even giving them a chance to have fun. Does that make me a bad person? Oh, well, they're in my way. Whoa, what's that in the background? It's a dragon thing. Person. Man. Look, he's right in front of a beautiful castle. Get a oh wait what is he going to did he just eat that castle okay he doesn't seem to like it though uh wait what what oh crap oh crap everything's crashing down on me nope not good okay good stuff crashing down on me that's good no oh, oh thank you. Yes, double lumps. No! Oh, hey. Perfect. No! Oh, careful. Wow, this is dangerous. Right, everything good now? 
Ouch! Alrighty then. Okay, I'm there. Good, 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 good. Keep running. Whee! Boom. Huh. I guess we'll call that an episode right there, so... Next time, on Let's Play Raymond Origins, we'll take on the next next few stages. Um, we'll probably uh, get to see that giant dragon man again. In fact, it's I think it's quite obvious that he will be the boss or something. They wouldn't make something as big as that for just that, right? I mean, that would be kind of stupid. At least I think it would be kind of stupid. So next time... Oh look, only 20 uh, electoons away from getting bad Raymond. So next time we'll do Fickle Fruit. So I'll see you guys next time and let's play Raymond Origins. Sarah's Guth, out. <laughs>